So num 4 starts off with num 2, but now you don't really have to mind if you still have your hand yes or no. Okay? So there's also a sometimes, instead of again going for the elbow lock, we just like okay, pull them out of balance here and just step round and just go for the shoulder. Okay? So round, because now I can use this to let him walk in this direction, step under, and make the technique. It's usually the technique in front of your chest, here. Okay? So now with my chest I can like turn, oh. and then if I want to throw in, okay? I have to also have to be careful. If I only do this, look here, I release the, the pressure of his uh, wrist again. First about the, the, the wrist joint, it's important is that you keep this arm as vertical as possible. And that you lock the wrist. If I don't, and I do this, one, and he bends his wrist, so bend and straight, you know, like the, the real pressure is gone. Now, if I lock his wrist, get behind his hand here, this is a good good job. Okay, I'll release it a bit. Yeah, so, but if I now do this, one, here, pressure is gone again. So I have to like keep the pressure on to get him down. Yeah, so make sure that one outside. You can also still do it. Hmm, like this, no problem. Now, one step and turn. Some people, um, when they go under, they make two mistakes. One mistake is arm up. Second mistake is step, step here. Yeah? Now I don't have the same amount of pressure as I had when I made one step and put him in front of my chest. Outside. So, one step, so one step, and body turn. Okay? And don't pull his arm up, but under his arm. Okay? So, one, make yourself low, and get under there. One. <laughs> okay? Another little bit is to get his pinky and then behind his fingers. Okay. Make it a, another way to finish the technique is where you don't have it. So, got the, the lock here, one, put it on your upper leg here, okay. and then actually push before, before he goes uh, away. So, that's another way to do number four, finish him off.